Hi and welcome to the channel. If you're regular, uh, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, hello. Either way, please consider subscribing as it uh, helps promote the channel in general. Regulars to the channel all know I take part in VHF contests. I work portable from the car. Uh, my entries are voice, uh, sideband entries, uh, but you can use CW and that would be useful on occasion when uh, conditions are really hard and you're trying to get an exchange across to the other station. There's not much room in the back of the car, uh, so I've decided to make a small handheld Morse key. Now in its most basic form, a Morse key is just one or two switches. If you look online, there's loads of examples of homemade ones. I had a vague recollection and it took some finding. I remembered one uh, made out of a three pin plug uh, and I found one eventually uh, from Perry G0 IFI, so my thanks to him. Uh, and this uh, this build is based on that design. This is going to be a paddle key, so as well as a three pin plug, we need some paddles and the paddles are made out of straightened out brass picture hooks, just two of these. So we need to attach the paddles to the bottom pins of the plug uh, and I just happen to have some small bolts handy. It's a case of drilling the bottom pins uh, and then attaching the first paddle. And then a case of attaching the second paddle. The pins move them down at the moment, so that's quite handy for, for getting them both on together. And with some long nose pliers, you can bend the paddles so they just uh, meet up neatly to the front pin without touching. And then it's a case of attaching the flex. You need three cores. I didn't have three cores, I've used six core alarm wire. And here you can see I've used the little known international standard of, of red port left, green starboard right, uh, and black common on the top. Uh, the red should be the dits and the green should be the dars. And I found with the plug reassembled there was a little bit of wobble on the pins so what I did was I added some hot melt glue to the inside of the pins on the top you can see here. Don't put too much on otherwise you can't get the top of the uh, plug back on. And on the finished plug I've bent the end of the paddles to make it easy to use and I've also bent in those sharp ends of the pitcher hooks on the final pins. Job done. So the plug end uh, on my uh, two Yesus, the, the wiring's the same. Um, the dit is the tip, the dar is the ring, and the sleeve is the common. So on the plug, if you remember, uh, we've got dit on the left, red, green, common. Uh, so this should uh, be the correct wiring. So that's the same on the FTDX 5000 and the FTDX 10, so I'm, I'm guessing all the ASUs are the same. So we'll plug it into the 5000, just into the front. Um, just get rid of that. There's a key on the back as well, a key socket. Uh, and with just plugging in and in CW mode, uh, the key will work as um, a single mask key. So that and we're not transmitting. So without instigating the key on the rig, you could actually use that as a standard up-down mask key. Um, but on this rig, there's uh, a key button there, and there's a speed button down here. Um, and on the display you'll see there so that's words per minute so you can go all the way up to 60 and all the way down to 4 so put that at 15 and then we're in key mode so we should have now I've never used a key before uh, and using Morse I can probably count on one hand so left should be dits and right should be dars and I think if you squeeze them together you get various combinations. So that seems to work for basic basic morphs in a hurry. So um, I'm going to see how we do this. There you go. Um, so, oh, hang on.
there you go so that's all it's meant to be a very basic morse key um cost nothing the the plug uh all rigs come in one of those uh, whether you use it or not it's another matter um so basic morse uh you can adjust the speed uh which i don't think i'll be doing uh speed is that one so if i hold the dars same with the dits so that's 15 again Ooh. hang on there you go job done Thanks for watching. The channel is all about simple practical projects and operating. If you've liked what you've seen, you're most welcome to subscribe. Best 73.